Okay, what I've got here is Wireshark, and I've captured a video stream from a um, online delivery service called 4OD. Now, from this video stream, I'm going to infer my video model that I can use in OpNet. So, in this case, what I have, as we can see here from our sourced and destination IP addresses, um, we have a communication between my computer, 192.168.1.111, and the server of the video, which is 80.231.69.10. And we can see that all the communication from my computer actually consists purely of acknowledgements of the segments that are being transmitted by the video server. Now, I don't want those in my OpNet model because OpNet, if I wish to use TCP, OpNet will automatically add those. So what I'm interested in is actually filtering out all of those acknowledgements and only having in this, um, in this display here only having the traffic which is being received from the video server. All of the individual, um, in this case, yeah, t t TCP packets. So what I need to do is I need to write an expression to filter out um, only those whose IP source um, address is 80.231.69.10. So if we go to this expression here, now in lectures I've always given this, I just wrote something in here, but if we go to expression that will give you a whole list of things that you can filter on. So we have the relationship and we also have the different protocols that you can use. Now I'm going to go down here until I get to IP. If I expand the IP box, of course I can filter on version, you know, differentiated services field, type of service field, um, the, the various fields within the type of service field. What I'm interested in is the IP source is equal to, of course, my video server address 80.231.69.10. And that will filter out all of the packets um, after I apply it, filter out all of the packets that are not related to my uh, video stream from the video server. So we can see what I now have is lots of video packets. Now I need to export those in order to use them in either the histogram program or in Excel to build a histogram. And in order to do that I can go to File, Export File. I'm only interested in exporting the things that I, I have of interest to me. So only the displayed values, my filtered values. And I want to export as a comma separated value. It must be a CSV file. And I shall call this 4OD. And then I can save that. It already exists because I've done this before. And I now have in the directory my 4OD comma separated value file. Now we can also build statistics. Um, for example, one of the statistics that we can build is actually packet length, which will give us an idea of how big the packets are. So we can see here this is 1,380 bytes in size. And in fact, most of the packets for your video stream will be around about that size. If I create the stat, well, we can see here that well, literally 97 of the percent of the packets are more than likely, of course we're using Ethernet here, so it would be below the maximum transmission unit of Ethernet, are more than likely going to be around about 1,300, 1,400 bytes in, in size. Okay, so that is having captured some data in Wireshark. That is how to filter out the data that you're interested in. In this case, it's very easy because I'm modeling a stream, almost a constant stream from a video server, and exporting that as a CSV file.